Hello my friends. Once again, this is from an old co-worker. <laughs> so, five horsepower. It looks like a dual stage, right? With with the auger, the snow auger going the shoot up and the uh, the front auger spinning. But if you look, it's almost like it has a a lawnmower axle. There's no drive on the wheels. So this must have been one of the first snow blowers that's a dual stage augers and internal impeller, that's what it's called. But there's no because there's no drive, the rubber paddles pull it along. And I'm quite stoked about this one. I've never seen I've never seen one like this before. Uh, the carburetor is totally gooed up. It's been sitting for about five years. And I'm just starting to work on it now. As you can see, we've got, we've got the artery, we've got the main artery clamped right there. And we're going to start, uh, we're going to start working on this little guy. I'm going to make sure that there's, uh, oil in the auger gearbox right there. And, uh, I mean, this is old school stuff, right? Look at this. Pretty cool. Now, once again, this is an old co-worker, right? And he told me that it does pull itself along pretty well. So I'm just going to get the carburetor off and we'll have a look at it. Thanks. Alright, here's the bowl. Looks really bad, right? Here's the... Uh, I, uh, the uh, mixture setting jet, main jet. And now I'm having a hard time getting the, uh, the float off. So I'm just going to tap it with this punch and see if we can get it out. Wait, it's coming. Good. And there's the needle. Okay, we'll back you guys up. So there's our float, our needle, the pin, the bowl. Let's get some spray. I'm not going to do too much, but i got to do some. Good. Now we're getting down to the basics. Probably need a new one of these. Yep. any of this? I don't think so. So anyway, we're getting a pile of parts here off the carburetor. That's good. I'm just checking to see what kind of a, I think it's a fixed brass uh, emulsion tube in there. Okay, we're good now for washing that. Put that in here. Put that in there. Oh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm upset I lost the uh, needle for the needle and seat. There's a little package of steel oil here. Give this bowl a chance. I have other bowls. Okay, I'm cooking some juice in the house. All right. Now we're going to just drain this bad boy of some gas. I'd like to get it all out. And then we have a couple of executive decisions we have to make. Do I change the fuel lines or not? How far that off are we here? Oh, we're doing all right. A little bit, take a little bit of a risk. Excellent. Now, not that much crap in there, eh? That's the difference between a snow blower and a tiller. <laughs> snow is clean. I'm just going to stick a little bit of a rag in here on the bottom. Soak up some of this last bit of hydrocarbon. And the gas looked good. 
Hey, yo! Adrian! Adrian! So things look pretty good here. And I'm just going to uh, decide right now whether I'm going to stick another... I don't think I even have to change... Okay, I'm going to slow down here for you guys. I am not going to change the carburetor gasket. So I'm going to undo that and drain the last of the fuel out of there. So now we're just waiting for that carburetor to clean and we can go to plan B, C, D, or E. Thank you guys. Can you guys see in there? We're going to just check the auger for grease. Alright. Anytime on an old machine a bolt comes out and in one piece, <laughs> you know you got her made. So now we're going to take this wire and we're going to just stick it in there. Oh, look, three, oh, it's full. It's full of grease, too. Oh, we're good. It's not the most prettiest grease in town. But that's okay, I'm not the prettiest guy in town here. I should probably make sure that's not on too tight. We've got time, we're waiting for the carburetor to boil. Waiting for my shrimp to boil. No, that's not it. Okay, that's good. Good. Now we have a little bit of grease to put in here. It's in good shape. Has he used... I wonder if these are sure bolts or if these are no bolts. Well, this one looks like a sure bolt. This one does not. So this is the weirdest little snowblower I've seen, eh? It's the beginning of the of the single stages, but it's still a double stage. Oop! Buzz my fingers off there. Is that a seven sixteenths? That's a half. I don't think that's a shear pin. That's a grade 5 bolt. Yeah, these guys are killing me here. How about this one? Grade 5 bolt. So on a grade 5 bolt, if you have three marks on there. Let's see that triangle and three marks right there. One, two, three in the triangle. You add two to it and that's a grade five bolt. That's a very, that's, that's in a general assembly bolt. Automotive and construction. Grade five. Grade eight, they're much, much harder. So now we got to stick our, see if we can find, uh, what do you call it? Who's a Mathinger jigger on there? Oh man, I'm using up all my, uh, one, two, one, two, yes sir, he bought. You back in here with me?
Hmm. Well, there's one way to center it. There we go. Can I cap that? Nope. Gonna have to turn it. You see how it wanted to crawl forward there? Huh. Judah. Hmm. There we go. Now I can go in. Ah, let's use the bolt that I so gingerly took out of there. I'd rather hammer that. I gotta separate you two. There we go. Good. Okay. Now let's fix that carburetor. We'll grease that auger before we send it on its way. Okay. So we need some methyl hydrate. Just because I'm in a hurry. We're gonna build a carburetor. Okay. Turn off the machine. You gotta love it when a plan comes together, eh? I'm just gonna. This is methyl hydrate, so I gotta. No, oh, this is water. So I'm gonna just rinse these guys in water first. Okay. Still or you not? Okay. Down. That's the bowl, Phil. Phil's the owner. Look at that. That's that's the float. It's good. And this is all of the uh, stuff in there. I'm just going to soak it. You might need uh, O-rings, I don't know. And then the carburetor. Alright. Let's build this carburetor. I don't know if you guys want to see it. But this is an old school carburetor. There we go. Now take the float and let's just put them on here. The needle, how'd that come out? Oh, it still has some goobers on it. Not bad. You gotta remember where we came from, right? I'm just doing this quickly so I can pressure test this guy. Okay, once again we use Ken's machine here. So this just pressures up the fuel line and we read what we can hold. Okay, it puffs out at seven. It's dropping to six.
Excellent. Now we're going to do one more thing. Put some gas in the in the uh, inlet. All it does is get the uh, needle and seat wet. Okay. Good. Now we just see if it, if it holds a little steadier at maybe seven once it's wet with fuel. Because don't forget, it's going to be wet with fuel from now on. Must be made of good stuff, right? So it still pops at seven. And we're holding at six. And we put this in and we tighten it up. That's seven sixteenths. We tighten it up and then go to one and a quarter turns out. Now, where's our. Oh, yeah, we might as well stick this on here. Ding, 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 ding. Good, we got a choke. Alright, intake manifold. That one should still have rubber in there and it looks good to me. Ooh, the, even the uh, port came. Oh, look. <laughs> That's a riot. There's a tie wrap on that. That's what was on there. I wonder I couldn't figure out how to get that off of there. Ew. Almost got it. Got it. Perfect. Okay, so that spins on there like that. Good. Now, we're going to put her back on the machine. throttle that's no longer used that's no longer used that's the mount screws for the cover and we're there what are these for I don't know okay so I don't know if you want to come and watch or not good the throttle we don't have to worry about shutting it off and then we just hook up our gas line our flyers and, uh, and uh, fuel line pliers. I'm not sure if this line is good enough. I'm going to pretend it is going to be. Okay, I think we're there. Did you guys get any of that? I think you did. Now let's get some go juice in there. Nothing else is clean though. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand. Should be enough gas for us to do our thing. 
and then we'll open up the gas valve and look for leaks. Oh, it's already open. So as that flows through, now when we hit the primer button, we should see a leak on that carburetor. So we're going to hit this primer button here. And look down, way down. Oh, we've got to adjust this to one and a half turns. I'm going to go one and a quarter because it's getting old. Half, one and a quarter. So the low speed jet, that one and a quarter, I think. Nope. And that's good, I checked that, eh? Half, one and a quarter half. So now, if we pump this button, we should see gas pour out of the top of this. Oh yeah, there is. Right there. She should start by Lordy. You ready? Freddy. Try it again. It's been so long since I've had one of these that you can adjust, eh? It needs more fuel. Half. Okay, half, one, and a half. Okay, we'll take her out another half.
shirt. <coughs> well, hello, my friends. Bruce here. It's the next day. I shut this job down yesterday, and I got everything kind of done that I wanted to do to this real cute little two-stage, but not uh, no transmission in this guy. Anyway, uh, it's running surgy. And we're going to try a few things. We'll just lower you down a little bit. I think that's probably about right. And uh, we'll give her a yank. We'll go on to choke. So it has all the power it needs, it's just something is still clogged. I have a replacement right here that will work perfectly, I hope. It's even, it even says rebuilt on here. It's got the nice little gas release out of the carburetor there. But I, you know what, I never did see the second hole in the power screw. I might as well get you to look at the thing while we're at it. I never did look at the power screw, second hole in the power screw, if there was one on this mower. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna get a team start stack. We're gonna pinch it on this side. It looks like, well, let's just turn the gas off to see if it holds. As I, the more things get used on this guy, the better it runs. Maybe that washer oh, it looks about right. Okay. There should be a secondary hole in this guy that I never cleaned. Okay, you guys aren't going to believe this, but it's there. I've looked all around that sucker. And I finally got out the cheaters. That's the smallest hole in the world. I think there was a hole. I think there was a plug. Look at that. I just cleaned the jet, mini hole, tiny, tiny hole, and I squirted some fluid into the uh, idle screw. And now I'm going to start her up again. Should see fuel leaking out of here. I can hear it now. Yes. It's going to start, it's going to smoke a little bit. We got three quarters choke. Three quarters throttle, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Got it. So it was that little tiny tiny hole in the carburetor main jet. Just like in the uh, newer ones that don't have the adjustable, they still have that second hole that's really hard to see. So I didn't have to use my spare carburetor. Isn't that cool and wonderful? <laughs> 